it's, it's funny you say that, man, because the work we do with men and wants, a lot of the dudes gang affiliated, right? And it's funny, I tell people like some of them try to uh, tease dudes as being a square, and I put it to them this way, like me and you, we want gang affiliated, even though we know the streets, sometimes they go extreme and they consider us square. But I say this to them all the time. I said, everything you consider square, you want your son to be, though. Yeah, exactly. You exactly. Want, you don't want, because the stuff that me and you do, you do stuff that you wouldn't mind your son being involved in. You want to get in the music, fine. Right. You know, it's, you'll let them know the, the ins and outs, the ups and downs, but it's not anything that's necessarily life-threatening at right. the moment. Right. But y'all do something that y'all proud of, but you don't want your son to do it. Right. And you call that life square. Right. Even right. though you want your, so in other words, you want your son to be a square, but you putting it down for other, your contemporaries. Man. And they laugh when I say that. I say, Man. how many of y'all want your son to be his only options to be, or your daughter, your, her only options to be prison in the penitentiary? Right, right. You know, that ain't, you don't that know, nobody wants that for their children. Nobody. Nah. Nobody. Nah. No, I see. I seen. Nobody I seen, I seen a, a one one a guy on Mac Ten. Uh, I mean on uh, on Kev Mac videos, and he's like, man. He said, I wish I would have grew up a square. He said, he said, he said, you know, he said I used to, you know, people like what's like what's it? he said, man. He said, man, a square. He said, you got some squares out here that'll whoop your ass and stuff. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he's like, you know, I had to, I had to learn that and stuff. You know what I'm saying? He said. Being a full smash gang member, how would you describe what a square is? Uh, from a gang banger's perspective, a square is one that's uh, not affiliated. May know some people who are affiliated, who are actual gang members, but pretty much stay on the straight and narrow and take care of their business as if, you know, their parents have raised them and taught them and things like that. When you call a person a square, what are you thinking though? Are you, um, are you thinking like he's a buster or he's well, doing the right thing? Well, <laughs> well, uh, there's some squares that whoop your motherfucking ass. You don't understand what I'm saying? So a square is one that's just not in the same lifestyle as you are. You know what I'm saying? As, uh, 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 actually now, especially at this point in my life, uh, being a square is some hip shit to be. It's, you know what I'm saying? It's, a, it's a, man, I, I wish I would have grew up a square. Have you ever thought about what your life would have been like had you been a square? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. It's crazy that you asked that question because while I was fighting my case or fighting that last case, uh, I hadn't had any kids or anything. And I was like, damn, I'm really about to get a life sentence. And uh, I don't have no children, uh, no legacy, anything other than I was on the streets being a knucklehead and my uh, reputation in my neighborhood is what it is. And there's definitely come to find out, and as I've always heard from quote unquote squares, there's definitely more to life than that. And most gang members, kids is squares and stuff. They, they ain't, they, yeah. because they not, they don't, sense. like you said, you don't want your kids to go that, you know what I'm saying? It ain't yeah. like when we grew up, you, you know what I'm saying? Like I was saying, you know, opening them grandmama was cripping and stuff. So like, the, all, all, the kids, all the little kids, all the little kids on down to the uncle's kids, and everybody family, all family, whole family crips. So it's like they ain't got no choice and stuff. You still had some people that try to do so. I remember Lamar was trying to do something different and stuff, but then yeah. eventually, you know what I'm saying? That's what you become and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like, <clears throat> and, and, and I kill. That's my point. That's where I agree with this one dude. Say, show me your friend. Show me your future. Mm. I kill, man. Me and you influence you on each other. If you was from a trade. I would have been from a train. Right. Right. It, it's just, it's just, it, it's just that delicate. Yeah. You know, my life could have went that way. Yeah. Or if you was from forties, I would have been from 40. Yeah. Trev would have been from forties. It's yep. just that it just depends. Cause yep. like me and you said, those dudes who was game banging one, like they wasn't, I like that word you use a Lauren. They was cool dudes to be around. Yeah. Man. Charles Abbott is a cool, was a cool dude. Rest in peace. Exactly. Rest in Charles peace. Abbott, one, one like he wasn't no cool dude to be around. Exactly. So if Charles, if we would have said, man, we're going to kick it with you for a minute and did everything he did that day, that could have been a point we didn't come back from. Right. That's one thing. Right. And then the other thing, man, I had these young men tell us, these young men, me and you have children, but it's other dudes starving for our big brother and father. And this one dude told me, he said, man, when I look out the, he had a, he had children, a family and a wife. He said, man, he in his early thirties. He said, when I look out the door, I see the world as a gang member. And he said, I'm trying to look out the door and see the world as a father. Cause I got a family. 
Mm. I said, man, that's the only way I see the world is a father. Mm. I said, he said, that's that's how I see. It. That's how me and you see it. I mean, we see it as other things, you know, husband, father. But I said, that's how I see the world. I got to make a decision that's good for my family. Mm. And he was like, man, I told him, he said, how do you make choices? I said, real easy. Anything that is going to make me a better father, I gravitate towards. Anything that's not, I go away from. It. Right. If it's not going to make me a better father, I don't want to deal with it. Right. If I if I if I think that it's not going to improve me, and then I was trying to explain to him stuff that you can relate to. I said I was telling him it's stuff that happened to you as a father that's going to make you feel eight hundred feet tall that you can't take back. That day, your day uh, when you had a rough day, uh, I kill everything going wrong, and your child say something to you that you don't expect. I love you. I, I respect you, Daddy. Or they say something and they make you feel like you bulletproof. Right. I was telling him. I said, man, you can't get that. You got to earn that. Right. I say it's dudes that I know I kill. They children call them by their first name because mm. they've been in prison so long. Their children hate them. Mm. They ain't gonna call them daddy. You know, I me and you, I can't imagine that where I come around and my child hate me and he's spitting on my name and all that and calling me, nigga, you ain't my daddy. Nigga, you damn it. I ain't gonna never call you dad. Mm. Me and me and you earn that. I be telling them dudes that ain't automatic. You know, it ain't just, you know, it don't just happen. You got to earn it by spending time with these children. So I say that I kill to say these gangsters, sometimes the square life, I was telling him that's part of the square life. That's part of the square life. That's the investment you make in your family. That's the return. Mm. But you got to make the investment because if you don't make the investment, you ain't going to get that return. Wow. You know, wow. The, the, the thing I hear most, I ain't even on social media, but you know what I hear most? Everybody that's on social media that know you, that post you put about people say black men are absent fathers, people hit me up most because I'm my pictures in there. Wow. When you said they say the black men absent fathers, you posted it. Right. Masani right. hit me, Nikki hit me, everybody hit me because of that. And mm -hmm. daddy, show me your friends, show me your future. Wow. That's who I am. Wow. Every every dude I'm really close to is involved in his children life. Right. If I'm really close to him, like really, really close, I know some dudes that ain't involved in their father's children's life. They trying. But right. the dudes I grew with and I'm close to, and we didn't plan it. We no. didn't sit up, we didn't come together and say, this is what we going to do. <laughs> right. Right. We didn't, we didn't, we wasn't deliberate about it. No, we didn't no. plan it. No, no, no. It just, it just was, it was almost like this, this, uh, you know, like what you're saying. Not necessarily planning in it, but 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 that that was our our focus. Like you know, whenever we yeah. do get that chance and stuff, because you know we seen people that didn't have every parent around or whatnot and stuff. You know what I'm saying? You know whether parents was together or not and stuff. You know what I'm saying? We still seen both parents or whatnot and stuff. You know what I'm saying? So you know that that was yeah that was you know like most most for the most part and stuff. You know what I'm yeah. saying? We, we seen great yeah. examples. And stuff, you know what I'm saying? Like we ain't see too many people where people dads ran out on them and stuff. I mean, we we have people that was around us that you know had those situations and stuff, but not not to the extent what they they were the majority of. It wasn't a gang of us hanging around like, man, you you ain't got no daddy. I ain't got no daddy. We ain't got no daddy. You know, like nah, nah. nah. <laughs> right. Right. And I seen something on Kev Mac videos and stuff. It was a lot of older gang members, and they was like, man, you know, these police is all like, oh, you know, the these psychologists like yo. Many of these gang members are people with no no parent with no parents around. No, he said, "Man, these older gang members, like you know, say, said we grew up with both parents in our homes. We decided to do this and stuff. You know what I'm saying? This ain't had yeah. nothing to do with our parents not being there and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It was the allurement of the things that we didn't have that you know, what I'm saying that our parents may not could have been able to provide for us and stuff. It was the allurements of you know excitement of being a young teenager in the streets and just wanting to to make a name." Mm -hmm. for stuff you know what I'm saying all these different things he's like man nobody man majority of us may have two come from two parent households and stuff you know what I'm saying and, and you know they just they yeah. just they that's real talk that and stuff you know what I'm saying they wasn't like yeah. they didn't have no parents or whatnot and stuff so 